In this first part of video, you will learn how to model a CFL light in Blender. Blender version 2.78c is being used while creating this video. Let's start by deleting the cube. Right mouse click to select it. And press X and enter to delete it. Go to the create menu and add a circle. Now rotate this circle in X axis by pressing R, X, 90 and enter. Now press 1 for the front view and 5 for the orthographic view. Now scale this circle down by pressing S 0.2 and enter. Zoom it a bit with mouse wheel up and pan the view little bit down with shift plus middle mouse button. Now press tab to enter to the edit mode and press A key to deselect vertices. Now press B key for the box selection tool and draw a box including top half vertices of circle to select them and move them almost two big grid lines up by pulling the blue arrow. Now press tab to return to the object mode. Now press Alt plus C keys on the keyboard and select curve from mesh slash text. Now under the curve section in the create menu, add a bezier circle. Now select this first object right clicking on it, and expand this right side panel to unhide some icons. Now click this curve object data icon, come down to the bevel section, click this little cube icon, and choose the bezier circle. Now come here and select the bezier circle, and scale it down by pressing S 0.75 and enter. Now select the tube right clicking on it, and the press Alt plus C keys and select mesh from curve meta surf text. Now you can select this bezier circle and delete it by pressing X and enter. Now press 3 key on the number pad for the right side view, select the tube by right clicking on it, press Shift plus D keys on the keyboard to duplicate tube and right mouse click to release. Now pull this green arrow to move the duplicate tube about there, select also the first tube while pressing Shift key on the keyboard, and press Ctrl plus J keys to join them. Now go to the tools menu, click on this set origin drop down, and select origin to geometry from the list. Now press Shift plus S, keys on the keyboard and select selection to the cursor. Zoom out a bit until you can see it properly, and in the shading section from the tools menu, click on smooth. Now go back to the tools menu and add a cylinder. Set this cap fill type to nothing. Now press 1 on the number pad for the front view and move the cylinder little bit up from the tubes by pulling this blue arrow. Zoom and pan the view until you can see the cylinder better, and press tab to enter to the edit mode. Now point your mouse to the cylinder, and press, Ctrl plus R, keys on the keyboard, when you see a pink mark, scroll the mouse wheel up or down until you get the 10 cuts and right click to release. You can also manage the numbers of cuts from here. Now rotate the view with middle mouse button until you can see the downside of the cylinder and press and hold the Alt key on the keyboard and right click on the last edge of the cylinder that will select entire bottom vertices. Now press E key on the keyboard to extrude vertices and press S and 0 keys for scale them all the way down and press enter. Add a loop cut by pressing Ctrl plus R buttons on the keyboard and pull that all the way out to the edge and click to confirm. Rotate the view little bit. Now add another loop cut there and pull it down to the edge and left click to confirm. Now press and hold the Alt and Shift keys, and select these three sets of vertices right clicking on them, and scale them by pressing S, 0.75, and Enter. Now select all the remaining vertices to the top and scale them by pressing S 0.5 and enter. Now pull these vertices little bit down until it looks like lamp housing. Now rotate the view to see the top of the housing and select the top vertices right clicking on them while pressing Alt key. Now press 
E key on the keyboard to extrude vertices and press S and zero keys for scale them all the way down and press enter. Add a loop cut by pressing Ctrl plus R buttons on the keyboard and pull that all the way out to the edge and click to confirm. Add another loop cut here and move to the top edge. Add some loop cuts here also in the corner from the up and down both sides. And repeat the same thing to this particular edge. Now go to this modifier icon. Click on Add Modifier, and click on Subdivision Surface Modifier. Set both View and Render values to 2 and then press Tab to return to the object mode. Again, go back to the Tools menu and click on Smooth. Now go to the Create menu, and add a cylinder. Rotate the cylinder in the X axis by pressing R, X, 90 and Enter. Now scale it only in the X and Z axis but not in Y axis. To do that, press S, Shift plus Y, 0.05 and Enter. Now move this cylinder to the top of the bulb by pulling this blue arrow, zoom it so that you can see the right side of the cylinder and press Tab to go to the edit mode, and press A, key to deselect everything. Now right click to this edge of the cylinder while pressing Alt key to select all the edge. Now press E key on the keyboard to extrude vertices and press S and zero keys for scale them all the way down and press enter. Add a loop cut by pressing Ctrl plus R buttons on the keyboard and pull that all the way out to the edge and click to confirm. Add another loop cut on the body and pull it all the way to the left and left click to confirm. Now rotate the view until you can see the right side of the cylinder properly. Now right click to this edge of the cylinder while pressing Alt key to select all the edge. Now press E key on the keyboard to extrude vertices and press S and zero keys for scale them all the way down and press enter. Add a loop cut by pressing Ctrl plus R buttons on the keyboard and pull that all the way out to the edge and click to confirm. Add another loop cut on the body and pull it all the way to the right and click to confirm. Now zoom out little bit, and press tab to return to the object mode. Now press 3 for right side view. Now pull this cylinder little bit down from the top of the housing. Now press S and press Y key on the keyboard and scale it down until it is little bit outer than the top of the housing. And left click to confirm. Now go to the Create menu and add a torus. Rotate this torus on the Y axis by pressing R, Y, 90 and Enter. Scale it by pressing S, 0.2, and Enter. Now move this torus to the top of the housing and adjust it to the side by using blue and red arrows. Now press Ctrl plus A keys on the keyboard and click on location. Again press Ctrl plus A, keys on the keyboard and click on rotation. And for the last time again press Ctrl plus A, keys on the keyboard and click on scale. Now go to the modifier section and click on add modifier, and then click on mirror, and click on apply. Now go back to the tools menu, and click on Smooth under the Shading section. Now press 1 on the number pad for the front view. And zoom or pan the view to see everything. Now select those tubes by right clicking on them, and move them upwards until the top part of the tubes goes inside the housing. And this was the part 1 of the quick tutorial about how to create a CFL lamp in Blender. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and leave a comment.